Hi there. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how SFL's Data Assistant eliminates data entry on customs clearance jobs, allowing operators to free up time for higher value tasks. This Data Assistant solution is a combination of two softwares. One, the optical character recognition, and two, an exception management dashboard. SFL's Data Assistant draws data from eDocs in CargoWise 1. It then maps that data into files and automatically populates the data into the required entry fields in CargoWise 1. Implementing this software comprises of the following technical components. Workflows and eDoc codes that need to be populated by the client. An e-adapter that enables the OCR process to take place within CargoWise 1. Data extraction a process log, auto-populating CargoWise 1 data, email notification system, and validation. First, you will see a demonstration of how this process is completed manually without SFL's Data Assistant. The demonstration will explain how SFL's Data Assistant works to overcome manual intervention. Thirdly, you will be shown how overrides to the validation process can take place upon necessity. In the manual process, shipment documents are derived from the eDocs folder of CargoWise 1. Service operators or CargoWise 1 users are required to open the brokerage tab in CargoWise. Then they go to the eDocs folder under invoices. They then have to open the commercial invoice document. Then the user has to read the data and manually populate the fields in the brokerage tab of CargoWise 1. SFL's Data Assistant completely eliminates the need for this tedious manual process by doing the following. The software retrieves shipment documents from the eDoc folder. These documents are then stored in an FTP file location on SFL server created during the implementation process. A trigger is implemented to send the files from eDocs to the FTP. The software creates a log where all the files are transferred and data is read. The log file records all events and populates the data on CargoWise. This is done per document and per line item. The software then maps the invoice lines into CargoWise 1. Upon completion of the invoice lines being entered into CargoWise by the software, a mail is sent to the allocated service provider or CargoWise 1 user from your organization. The email outlines the status, successful or not, to the operator. In the event the data mapping is not successful, a failure email is generated which stipulates the shipment number and attaches the document that was not successfully transcribed through the software. Validation The service operator, or CargoWise 1 user, is also able to validate documents with the option of editing data within the document. The validation takes place as follows. The service operator receives an email with an option to validate the document online. Should the service operator choose to manually validate the document or need to correct fields that are incorrectly entered in the invoice such as editing the vendor name, the operator clicks on the validate button. This opens an editable format of the document. The user then edits the documents as per their requirement. Upon completion of editing the document, the operator clicks the validate button and the document is updated, then stored within CargoWise 1. And that's it from us. Thank you for watching.